Hello there. How is everybody doing today? Hi, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> she is. So anyways, what we decided to do today, uh, Corinne and I, we're going to talk about skincare and uh, what our regimen is and what we're going to do. So my hair is up today just because I wanted to show everybody um, exactly what my little regiment is in the morning. Yeah, because everybody's skincare is different at different times of year. And some people in Canada, I know, are in colder provinces. So they get more drying of skin and that kind of a thing. So we're going to go through some really... Um, and I think you're starting off with something that actually helps with... Um, kind of cleaning off stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, number one, it's funny that you would mention that about Canada. Now, I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, and uh, thank goodness I'm not out there because they're freezing it up. I was just talking to my, my auntie out there and she said it is cold. It just freezes your face right off. And if anybody's ever been in Alberta, Alberta whether uh, summertime or wintertime, it is a dry climate. Mm -hmm. And literally, your skin feels that you're, you're putting lotion on 24 seven. And your hair even feels drier. You're yeah. wearing static, staticky hair. That's right, my hair, my, <laughs> my hair is different in Alberta. It's more a softer curl than it is here because we're damp, right? We get yeah. that moisture. Um, yeah. in, in British Columbia. So anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about today, I think that everybody should have a, um, a uh, scrub for their face. So we're gonna be talking about a scrub for your face and um, Corinne's gonna tell you exactly while I'm doing this, <clears throat> what, you're, yeah. what you're gonna do. So, so the key to products that you're gonna use on your skin, at least, I mean, we're both a little elderly. <laughs> We've been using skincare for a few years, <laughs> some more than others. But, um, but the importance of a skincare regimen is to have, for me, and I think for you, the importance of natural sources, you know, such as botanical extracts, essential oils, um, you know, vegetable proteins, things like that. If you can get products that have those kinds of things in them. So that you haven't got like the toxins that um, some carry some toxic ingredients that uh, perhaps are showing that they're actually working on your skin, but perhaps the damage they're doing, you're not seeing immediately. So natural based ingredients is key. Um, and our bear, this berry scrub that you're going to be using actually has components of all of those items in it. So it makes your fit. I don't know how often have you used yours? Do you use yours weekly or? I use mine weekly. You guys know that I do do my spa days. And what I do with this one here in particular, with the berry scrub, first of all, you want to make sure that your skin is wet. So I just wet my skin like this. And I'm in my sink or whether I'm in my bathtub or what have you. And then I just take and you don't need lots. I'm telling you, these products go a long way. So that's all yeah, I'm using. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to put it in my hands like this, rub it, and I'm gonna gently scrub my face. This stuff is, oh my goodness, the smell is just so pure. And it's got like the little um, uh, scrubbies in there that are all natural, right? Yeah. And you can feel the oils in there as well as when you're scrubbing. Oh my God, yeah. Oh my goodness. So I leave this on and I'll tell you a little secret that I do because I do my spa days once a week. And I didn't do it yesterday. I usually do it on Mondays because I knew that I was going to do it here with you guys today. <laughs> so that's just awesome. Yeah. So when I'm in the bathtub, I take a hot face cloth and while I'm laying in the tub, I take that hot face cloth and I lay it upon my face with this scrub in there. And I sit for about a good mm, five minutes, right? Yeah. And then once it's all seeped in there, I take the face cloth and I give it a, because the face cloth has got uh, texture to it. It's not rough. I'm not telling you to go like this. We're not rubbing uh, yeah. the floors. <laughs> 
And you know, so then I take the face cloth and I rub gently and clean my face. So today I'm just gonna take this all off. And oh my goodness, you it just hydrates. I just can't believe how well it hydrates without leaving your face greasy. Yeah. But and, moisturized. And it doesn't have I know I've used some masks before. And they have so much more grit. Like it actually oh. feels like you're hurting yourself by the scrub, right? It's and you gotta be careful. Layers, right? You have to be gentle with your skin, right? Yep. And then just tell dot it like this, right? Just pat it dry. Yeah. And you can just oh, it's so soft, right? Oh, it's <laughs> really dewy, and that's what you want. So now what I'm going to do just is I'm going to wash my face again, just because we, we also have the, um, the Be Gentle. Yeah, this is for um, dry, sensitive skin, this line uh, that we're both using, but we also have, you know, there's also lines that people have for oily or combination skin, but we're both using the same line of products. So it's Be Gentle for sensitive. Yep. Um, aging skin or people that have very sensitive skin and there's a lot of people out there that have gentle skin you don't think you do but yeah, I I myself the reason why and I've used a lot of product and I'm gonna tell you something so I'm just giving it another little wash go into the drugstore and try to find yourself a product you're yeah. standing there like, yeah, what do I use? Yeah. They've got so much out there. You don't know what you're using. And a lot of times with myself, I get it home and I don't like it. And I spent all this money or somebody's talked to me into buying all this stuff. And guess what? You've wasted all your money because you might like one product. And the other product, you just want to... Uh, you don't even use it. And you, you ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. we've got so much stuff and we don't know what we're doing. We're just going by what they're telling us. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. and then we're very disappointed. I have not been disappointed with this product whatsoever. It's just an easy boom, boom, done. Okay. So. And 30 day money back guarantee. So that like all those products you buy at the drugstore, you chances are you'll never be able to bring it back if you don't like it, right? That's right. And who can train you on it, really? Like, I mean, you're lucky if you got somebody at the cosmetic call, uh, counter to, to help you through it, but... You just, anyway. hit it. you just hit it right there, and yeah, exactly. So you go take this product back and tell them, you know what, it didn't, didn't do anything for me, and I didn't like it, can I get my money back? They'd be looking at you with crossed eyes. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. So we do have a 30-day money money back guarantee. So now we're going to be using the Skin Revitalizing Essence. Yeah, and that would be similar to what a toner would be, like some people that use toners, right? Yeah, that's what they generally would call them. And that, what do they kind of do? They just hydrate a bit yep. more yep. before the actual moisturizing part comes on. And But the difference with this one here is, is that it holds everything that I just put in my face is holding. It just locks everything in, and that's what you want. You don't want to have it whatever just sitting on the outer layer of your skin. Yeah, it's like your hair. Yeah, whatever you're putting into your hair, you want to be and in your skin, you want it to absorb. So these products have that absorbency of the natural oils. They is it the S? What do they call it? The S or um, rejuvenate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Rejuvenique S that actually goes into the skin. Yeah. So I just put mine in a little bottle and I just go like this. It's a nice mist. It's oh. such a good. I don't know if you can it. see. Yeah. Right. And I just had it. Yeah. What is this called? Decollage. <laughs> is it decollage? I think something like that. <laughs> but you got to take care of this too. I didn't take All care of, of mine. this, <laughs> ladies. It's too late. <laughs> no, it's never too late. It's too late, baby. No, it's too late. <laughs> I just need a turtleneck now. <laughs> oh, my Anyways. goodness. Yeah. Alrighty. So, now what I'm going to put on is... Now, this has to dry, right? Yeah. Kind I, just, sure. I just kind of go like this. And yeah. I can already feel it. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. 
because we've been sitting in our houses in the winter time, oh. our bodies are dehydrated. Oh, we're yeah. not drinking a lot of water. I know. You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. We are in the house. I have a fireplace. Oh yeah, the air. So is dry. the air's dry. Yeah. What happens? Yeah. We're dry. Yeah. Our bodies are dry. And we're drinking coffee because we're trying to stay awake <laughs> instead of napping all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so that's another little factor right there, right? We're not getting that fresh air that we should be getting. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm going to be putting on the Sea Radiance. Yeah. And Corrine is going to tell you all about the Sea Radiance. Yeah, right? so this has a lot of natural fruit acids in it. So like I was talking to you about at the beginning, to have natural based uh, ingredients in your products. Um, and it helps to smooth and brighten the skin. So it's uh, just a beautiful, and everybody knows how vitamin C works. It, it helps with inflammation. So, you know, if you've got inflamed skin, it's this kind of soothes everything and, and brings it back and brightens up everything. It's beautiful. Tightens and plumps and plumps the skin because then, you know, it's, it's sucking that in, right? So it makes you feel like, what does your skin feel like the difference from, just having that toner on now that you've got the C radiance Well, you on. can feel that everything is pretty much locked in there. Yeah, you even more so. You can feel it, right? Yeah. So yeah. now we've got the Ice Smooth. Oh yeah. Now this one here is a yeah. really big one for everybody. Now all I do is I just take, oh, that's even too much. Like when I, when I explain this to people, when I tell you that you only need uh, a, little. a little bit. Always use your ring finger. Yeah. Because your ring finger is the most gentlest of your of your finger, right? So you're not this is the area that you don't want to be um being rough with at all. Yeah. So I always do this and then we got a little this is a it's a cold um it's a roller. A roller yeah. that helps bring in Oh yeah. And lift, right? Just keep going like this. And it's cool. So if you have bags, like this is the thing that you need to use, right? Something that's, you know how they used to put a cucumber on your eye? Yeah. Like that's the same kind of effect that it's having. It's that coolness that's uh, getting the infl inflammation that the bags that you would be holding, right? But it, it feels so good too, oh, right? Oh, it does. It really yeah. does feel good. Yeah. And just, you know, just gently Take it up, and you can already, already. I can already see a difference with with my skin. Just oh yeah. I mean, just boom. Yeah. Right. So, so there is a difference <clears throat> with the ingredients for your, around your eye as opposed to your face because it's different skin, right? It's actually more sensitive around your eyes. Well, it's because it could go thinner. into your yeah, and it could go into your eyes. So you have to make sure that the products you're using are actually ophthalmologist approved. Um, or dermatologist approved because you don't want stuff going into your eyes that actually isn't good for it. So another reason to make sure you get natural based products as well. It's something that's not going to harm your eyes, right? Mm -hmm. I remember back when I was younger, I would just, you know, rub, like taking eye makeup off, like because makeup every day, right? And you're just rubbing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you think you're going to stay young forever. I know. Right? But we will with these products. Yes. It, um, you know, we're not using any screens or anything like that. This is the real decoy. This is what we yeah. look like. Yeah. So now we're going to go into the Be Gentle Moisturize. Again, you're yeah. only using... Very little. Very little. Again, yeah. right? So I just do this. And do you do your neck too? Yep. I do, yeah. I do. So again, the, these pro the products are strengthening and protecting as well, right? So there is an SPF, ver uh, you know, that everybody needs a bit of the F SPF. Even if it's cloudy out, you still need to have some protection for your skin. So if you can get it in a moisturizer as well. And we have key. an SPF. <laughs> we also have a, a sunscreen, yeah. Yeah. And, and whatever sunscreen you use, just make sure... Um, I would advise to make sure it's hasn't gotten on any toxic ingredients in it. But um, and one of the things about uh, our products is it has the kakadu plum in it, oh. which is a uh, you know it's rare and it's it's such a, uh, a healthy. Uh, it, it causes so much good things in your skin for brightening, plumping, and protecting your skin. So 
Um, there's other products that have certain ingredients that probably have um, that as well, but we're using these ones and we're finding such a difference. I've used so many skincare products throughout my life. I used to actually sell Mary Kay back in the day and their products actually were, had ingredients in it that, but I didn't know about that stuff then, right? You just use what you use and even the makeups that I used to use, right? But now I'm a little bit more wiser as I got older. That's right. You know, and talking about that, uh, the um, kakadu, the kakadu plum, it's more potent. I forget, I forget how many times potent it is than vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, it's got way more vitamin C in it than than and normal. I forget. It yeah. was like yeah. It was like triple. Yeah. Anyway, we can get that information to you if you want to know a little bit more about yes. how the kakadu plum works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, we need to talk about this one here. This is the plant. It's like the, you oh, can talk about the, that. Oh, um, the Bacuchiol. <laughs> anyway, it, it's, vegan. It's, it's, a pro, it's a product that actually is a natural based retinol A. So it doesn't have the effects that say the synthetic version of a retinol A would have. And that's key to skincare. Most products that you see that are out there on the market that are tooting that they're doing some great work has got to have the retinol A in it. And now we have a formula that doesn't have the synthetic version. This is from an actual plant source. Yes. So it is amazing. I'll just look up what um, the product, what the ingredients are in it, and I'll let you know here. And you use this one here at night. So you're pretty much doing exactly what I did here. Um, but you put your night cream on and then you put this on here after. And that really does that plumping because when we're sleeping at night, believe it or not, our skin is dehydrating while we're sleeping, right? And um, that's what happens sometimes when you're waking up and you're feeling kind of puffy and you're kind of feeling, you know, that's because we're we're not hydrated enough and your body's telling you something. There's some toxins going on. So whether I put this stuff here on my face, yes, it's going to help. But it also in terms of what I'm putting into my body, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and if I'm drinking enough water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and eating properly, it's going to it's going to show on your skin and it's going to show on your hair. Yes. Right. Yeah. So yeah. as you age, things start to start to deplete um, but if you're keeping care of yourself and you're watching your regimens of what you're doing yeah. you're going to start noticing it in your everyday um, life that's right right yeah so it helps uh, reduce the appearance of age spots as well like how many people have issues with age spots um, even younger people like that and I think part of it is the environment that we're, we're in now like we don't know what is in our atmosphere like for pollution and whatever else right you get in your car and maybe you have a leak or something in your exhaust and you're getting <laughs> like who knows right and when you go into buildings um even you you have a fire um you have a fireplace so there's you know sometimes oh there's a little goodness. bit of smoke the and residue whatever, right yeah yeah you so, can tell in your house right yeah um, yeah what's going on so anyways that is our little regiment of what i do and it does take a little bit longer because I'm showing you, but I'm telling you, it's like brushing your teeth every day. Yeah. Right? Boom, boom, done. Makeup on, ready to go. Now, I am so excited about this product that I'm going to tell you about. Um, we basically have had the scrub for our face, right? Because we need to rejuvenate and get all those dead skin cells and everything off. But what about your scalp? Yeah. Right? What about that scalp of yours? And I'll tell you another thing too, because I've been a hairdresser for over 30 something years. Um, the first thing that we were taught in school was before you go shower, you always brush, give your hair a really good brush. Not before a color or anything like that, but before you shampoo your hair, you always brush the client's hair, then take them to the bowl and shampoo their hair. And why is that? 
Well, I'll tell you why, because it stimulates the scalp. And I'm telling you, a lot of people nowadays do not brush their hair. That's true. We don't brush your hair enough. No. It gets everything moving. It gets all of the, um, uh, the blood flow that we need to get going. Yeah. Right? To, and that's probably why half the people are losing their hair. That's right. Right? Because we're not brushing it. Yeah. So back in the day, in the 1900s or early 1800s, the women sat in front of a mirror and they would brush they did. their hair. And before bed. And before bed, they would do it. Yeah. Right? So anyways, this product here is a scalp purifying scrub. And I did it today because oh I just God. got it. Yeah. I did it yesterday. Holy man, my, my hair is so soft. Your it's hair so, looks beautiful and I, I've today. Got, I've got hairspray in and I, um, oh my God. It, have you ever heard of a, a scalp scrub before? Nope. I've heard of a deep conditioning treatments, right? Wow. Anyhow, I was, so, I was so excited. I was like, okay, I've got to get in the shower because I need to talk about this, right? I, yeah. I had to try it. Yeah. Holy smokes. So all I did was I wet my hair down really, really good. And it's got these sugars in it. Do you want and to look it up? yeah, we can talk about it. I'll, and I'll look it up. Here. I just want to show you how much I used. It was just like, what? I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can see this. And I emulsified it in my hand like this. My hair was wet down and then I just started moving it through my scalp and it went right through my scalp, the back of my scalp, up through and out through my hair. And I just, and then it started doing this tingling and exfoliating and you could feel these sugars in there, gently scrubbing the scalp. And I didn't want to get out of the shower, but I had to go to work, right? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I could, and, and if anybody had this done to them with their hairstylist, at the sink. Oh my God, I'm telling so you, good. they would probably die in the yeah. chair. They would probably, <laughs> it is so beautiful. So, so it, this one here, I've never heard of any other company that has it. That's kind of what my question was because I, this is the first time I've ever heard of this and what a smart idea. Oh, like, and you're right about brushing because, because I have fine hair. So I kind of pick it a little bit in the morning and if I have to curl it, I curl it but I don't bring the brush through it. And, and my husband, you know, touch, don't touch my hair, it's set. Don't touch my hair. So that, that would help, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should hear me, don't touch my curls. You're gonna make them frizzy, you know. Uh, well, but that is so funny. Yeah. So th this product has super fruit AHAs in it. So it's a blend of glyco glycolic and malic, citric, metallic, tartaric acids and it break down and dissolve dead skin cells and stubborn stubborn product buildup and environmental pollutants so that is key um, we have we also use a different line of products for our hair as well and we're finding that if you are starting with our products and you haven't cleaned out what you were using the effects of of using our line of products may not have the full effect immediately because you still have a buildup of stuff. We were just talking about that before. We were so. Right? And so, this, yeah, are you still, yeah. Yeah, so, and it also has apple cider vinegar in it and everybody kind of knows in the natural field how beneficial that is. It dissolves the sebum buildup while cleansing, refreshing and conditioning. Um, and you can feel this on your scalp as you're doing it. It just you know that there's more blood flow going to your scalp. Oh, absolutely. Your right? My hair was standing up like this. That's the reason I had to put this hair on because it was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was this, that was the scrub. Yeah, now. and it has vitamin B6 in it as well and pink clay and then our rejuvenate oil is also in there too. Okay, so, yeah. so and also afterwards, I shampooed my hair with the vinegar shampoo. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. I only used, I'm telling you, after I did the, after I did the uh, scrub, I shampooed my hair, but I'm, I, I, I probably used, oh my goodness, less than a dime. Yeah. And I went like this. Oh, and lather. I'm, the hey, lather. I was so surprised, right? <laughs> I was oh like, my God. it was just like, whoo. So you know darn well that this is really, um, what's the word for Deep it? Deep cleaning. Deep yeah. cleaning. Yeah. All that stuff that, 
so we were talking about this and I've had a lot of people ask me this, not a lot, but there's a few people out there that have been using the same product for years. Um, there's people that are on medications that are people that are, you know, avid about using, um, aspirin or Tylenol or whatever it may be. Guess what that does? It coats your hair. Yeah. So my biggest thing is before you even think about, um, wanting to try something, I would suggest that you do what I did with my hair and clean it, cleanse it to get all yeah. those waxes, yeah. fillers, yeah. coatings, whatever you've been putting on your hair, you need to clean that off. And yeah. then you're going to get a better thing. Cause like we were talking, the more you use our product, the better your hair is going to get. So if you had that first time, um, where you felt like, oh geez, you know, this didn't really do anything for me. Well, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. There's some buildup going on there, huge buildup. So we wanna get that lifted off your hair, off your scalp, and then you're going to go in with something that is going to be your signature uh, shampoo and conditioner for your own hair needs, uh, Yeah. right? Because a lot of times that's what's going on. Actually, you probably don't even know what hair type you are after a while if you've got a buildup. Absolutely. Like, what are you? Are you dry? Is it the silicone that's dry or is it the hair? You don't know. <laughs> you, don't, you really don't know. So, and if, you know what? Unless somebody's educated you about um, your hair and your skin, you don't have a clue. Yeah. Your hair does, your hair, your hairstylist doesn't sit down and do all this with you. No. I had a lady that had so much buildup on her hair. She wanted a color. She wanted highlights. And I'm going to be really straightforward and I'm going to be very honest. When she came into my shop, I had to literally clarify her hair. And hairdressers know this. I had to literally use a cocktail shampoo. If I would have had this, I could have, I, I used my clarifying. Now we don't have the clarifying. We now have the scrub. If I would have had that, I would, I, we would have cleansed it. And the hours that you put in were... Crazy. It was insane yeah. because yeah. there was build up upon build up upon build up. Now, if I was some hair stylist, just say, hey, here you go. I told her I have to cleanse this hair before I even put a color on. Yeah. That's how bad it was. And I did yeah. it twice. Yeah. So she wanted highlights. We did too much on her hair. I said, you're going to have to come back. We'll touch up your roots, but you're going to have to come back because of the build up, right? Because we'd already spent four hours on her hair, literally. Yeah. Um, so those are the things that I, as a hairstylist, have recognized. Mm -hmm. And when somebody has this kind of thing going on and they don't really know what's going on, that's probably what's going on. Yeah. And I yeah. don't want somebody walking out and going, oh, geez, you know, I tried that. It didn't work. Well, yeah. I'll tell you why it didn't work because of the buildup. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is that some people use natural things like coconut oil on their hair. But that doesn't absorb into the shaft. No. So, of course, that's a buildup. So, whatever products you're using, if you're going to change over to a new line of products, it's best to do something that's going to clarify your hair or purify it, clean it really clean before you start with something else. Because then you know what you're working with. You can't really judge a product till you know that your hair is actually not in that condition and you've seen it before because you work with it all the time but i know i get to the point sometimes where your hair isn't doing isn't performing the way it used to and you think well i guess i should that's why when you change a shampoo you think well it's this is that shampoo that's better right it's because the buildup that you get after a long time of it's using something right so like i said even an aspirin can coat your hair um, and you may think, really? It's like, yes, it can. Because, I mean, before years ago, we would sit down with our clients and ask them. Perms were huge when I was do started doing hair. Right. Um, everybody had a perm, whether you needed one or not. You know, you get a perm today, right? Um, first thing you ask, what kind of medications are you on? Have you had an operation? What are you yeah. using? Yeah. Most of the time, is be the perms didn't take is because they had this buildup of slick you could see it coming off the hair yeah. you know so yeah i hope you guys learned something today yeah that was our key right because look at your hair your hair your face it's just glowing right 
And you know when is they it? say it helps with your circulation, you've got like rosiness on your cheeks now that, you know, after cleaning, right? So yes. um, circulation is important for cell growth. So um, it is important to, to use something like that, right? So if anybody is interested in what we were just uh, sharing, yeah. sharing, yeah, um, you know where to reach us. Yeah, and if you want to know, we, we can send you a link to a quiz that will tell you what products are best and we'll put you in for a draw for a sample. Whether it's go. hair, if you want to go with a hair sample or if you want to go with a skin just sample, let us know. just let us know. Uh, just message us, um, leave a comment and we will get um, the quiz out to you and, um, and uh, have you in the draw for some samples. But um, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, yes. And another thing, I had to share this because <laughs> I just thought this was unbelievable. Uh, one of our motivational speakers that I've heard, his name is Les Brown. Oh my God. I'm not sure He's if so any of you good. guys know who he is, but he is just, oh, yeah. I love him. Yeah. And so anyways, he had mentioned something and, I, and it said, basically, develop your own communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just really take in what that, what I just said there because it's so, so true. And I just wanted to share that. Yeah, so before you, you know, it's that think before you speak, because sometimes, you can't take it yeah, like, in, and now, nowadays, when it's on your phone, it's your texting. And if you have to sit for a minute before you send things, because- Or think about it for the next day. To yeah, send it. <laughs> don't don't do things in because that's that's the impression you're sending out there to people. You know, like you just want to be centered, right? Because we all have bad days of and course. off days, and and you don't want to take something the wrong way. And I think that's the value of speaking to someone rather than texting someone because they can take it one way, oh. depending on their mood, right? So yeah, communication. It's, yeah, texting can sound so. Um... I don't know, like there's no fantasy in there that's just kind of blah. Yeah. Uh, and you can kind of take it at like, hmm, what did she, what did she mean by that? Um, yeah. You know, and you're not meaning anything, but you yeah. know, you have to be a little sensitive too when you're texting because people do take. They do. And I didn't realize capitals was yelling. When you type everything in capitals, that's like the people take that as yelling at them. Yes. <laughs> Or really making, or really making what you want. A point. A point. You hear me? <laughs> oh uh, my goodness, that's so great. So, so yeah. So I that's think, basically it today. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we're happy to be back. Doing yes, our we thing. are. Yeah, and it's being been... in person is lovely. We're supposed to snow here, and I thought, oh, on Tuesday. I hope the snow doesn't come, and it's not here. So thank goodness, I'm driving yes. a little ways together. So yeah. Well, like we say, keep sparkling, keep shining. And always keep that big smile on your face. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are, we are, all, we're all blessed. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you soon. I think maybe I will shut it off this time. <laughs> that one, the middle yeah. one? Yeah. In there.